Enjoy your day, guys. I'm going to town. We'll see you later. Do you need me to pick up anything at town for you? No, you're pretty content. You're pretty self-sustainable. Good morning. Look at that time. What's so special about that? I just woke up. Once a week, the beautiful one let me sleep in because I all, all week I'm getting up with the cows. Hey, Mr. Brown, you feeling good today? Yeah. Mr. Brown has learned to say Papa over the weekend. Can you say Papa? <laughs> Guys, you've heard those nightmare stories about getting a milk, milk animal to where you might have to Milk it in the morning, milk it in the evening, New Year's, Christmas, every day. Well, that's why we do calf share, guys. We keep the calf on the mother. We never wean. And that way, when we don't want the milk, the calf can get the milk, and the mama doesn't dry up. That's why you milk, have to milk twice a day if you don't do that. Because if you don't milk, if something is not milking, she's going to dry up. So that's the key. So if, we wanna, if I want to sleep in one day a week, we just leave the cows out in the field together. We'll go up there and see them in a minute. Okay, they're way out there. And if I want to get the milk, I just put them up. I put them up every other day, and I put little little uh, Norris over here and Will over here, and they can't get at each other, okay? We separate them at night so we can get the morning milk. Look, guys, I don't have enough scraps today. I need at least three pounds to make make that their green material for the day. It's okay, Mr. Brown. We're going to go out real soon. I ha do have some excess milk, so that's good. That'll go towards their protein consumption. In the past, I've just been making up for that loss with uh, grains, but apparently that's been making them too fat, so I'm not gonna do that. I'll supplement with some hay uh, here, but let's see what else we have. I know we have some older bananas here, and sure, those bananas are fit to eat for us, but so are fresh eggs and chicken meat. That's nature's uh, magic trick, is we could turn these bananas into fresh eggs. Okay guys, just went through the fridge. I think definitely gonna get my Three pounds, that's what I need for them to have in green material. I got old dill, old collards, uh, excess cabbage, excess tarragon, basil. Some people are asking me, you know, I see you have whole foods and I see you're throwing them in there. They look pretty good, but what about rotten stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Throw rotten stuff in there, moldy stuff. And if the chickens uh, can't eat it, they won't. But I rarely see that happen, right, Brand? They pretty much eat everything. Remember, they're, they're pigs with feathers. So now for the protein, guys, we have some ex excess milk, and that's about four pounds of milk right there, and I need three pounds of protein, but you know, it's, it's liquid, it's not straight up meat protein, so I'm gonna say, you, we got some extra eggs, guys, from the chickens. It is springtime, we get a ton of eggs, way more than we can eat, and I have no shame in feeding it back to them, so I'm just gonna crack these in here and crush up the shells as I go, ready? We're crushing up the shells so they can't identify them as shells and then encourage them to start eating their own eggs. But this is a great source of protein for them. So guys, I put my eggs in there. A dozen eggs is a pound and a half of protein. And then um, we're gonna put in our grains. These have been soaking slash sprouting. Uh, hey, quick story guys. I came into my old feed room here where we used to have the feed the other day and I, lo and behold, there was a possum walking right across here and I said, you rascal, you must have been wanting to get the ones that the bag was right here where it was a bigger hole and then there were some bags right here with smaller holes and we definitely caught a mouse. So we had not just mice into it, but possum. So hopefully our, our situation over there where we raised the feet up and put them in plastic bins and on top of metal pallets will help with that too. Got thing one helping me now, mixing it all up. That way we'll get the uh, the the protein absorbed by the, the 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 crushed eggs absorbed by the food and the grain. How you feeling, guys? Hungry? I see. Aren't you always hungry? Isn't that what got you into this problem? So I'm gonna dump out the old feeder. There's nothing in there, but up. Uh, bird brains. Come on, let me hit the feeder, and then um, we'll pour a little bit in that. I'm about to step on people, man. They crowd you up so much, you gotta be careful walking or you break somebody's leg. There, guys, gosh. And that's why we have more than one feeder, guys, because all the pigs are gonna get in there and take over, all the bosses. So we'll spread them out. I put a little too much in that pan, so I'm gonna go get some out and spread it out a little bit better. They're not gonna like me for this. Trump, you walking with me, buddy? Good morning to you. Look at this rich compost, guys. They're continuing to shred this up. This is going to be a, an amazing garden area. You guys are doing a good job. You hissing at me, Trump? 
Come on, be kind. Okay, a duck egg under the pallet. Cool, got to get it out. Cleaning out the water, thank you. Man, this is handy. Thank you for helping me, buddy. Are you living the dream? <laughs> what could be better about your life? Uh, nothing. You got a good life, don't you? How you doing this morning, buddy? You feeling good? In shorts. You're hopeful for the day. All right, and I'm gonna pour this milk in this little trough I've got. They'll eat that before the day's over. Thank you. Now, she's a problem because she was out. She gets out all the time, and her wings, I've clipped both sides crazy small. So, guys, I've given up on her. And I might harvest her before some animal does. Because she is just not going to stay in this fence. Every once in a while you get one of those. Jonah's cleaned out the gravity-fed waterer. Now we're filling it back up. We have, a, we have a flow switch right here. We got it on full blast to fill it back up. And then as soon as it gets to that drain, we're going to crank it down. Guys, and the chickens, as you can see, still need to be fed. Even though it's Saturday. Our day off. Everybody's still got to eat. Haven't figured out a way around that one. Bon appetit. Enjoy your day, guys. I'm going to town. We'll see you later. Do you need me to pick up anything at town for you? No, you're pretty content. You're pretty self-sustainable. You just need some grass, some shade every once in a while, some fresh water, a little bit of minerals, and you're good. You're amazing. Hey, crazy hair. Got mom's special breakfast, eggs, sausage, peppers, and cheese. Hey, you've been saying Papa. Can you say it for everybody? Papa? Bye. Oh, you're gonna get shy. Wow, you did your hair nice. Good job. Hey, look, I learned something every day. What's this shirt say? Mermaids are real. That's right. Did you know that, Mr. Brown? Learn something every day. Spring is in the air, folks. Time to get some flip-flops. I think I think Lily likes everything. Do you like everything, Lily? Uh, no. Look at the shoes you got. You running in the store? You get you some flip-flops? Awesome. <laughs> You seeing the dog? Is this a pretty safe dog for you, Josiah? Yeah. Hey. You petting the dog? He wants it to my bum. Is it real? No. Is this freaky? Uh-uh. Would you like to have this in your room? Uh -uh. At night? Then is it freaky? No. No. Where's its head? Oh, uh, they don't have any heads for it. What are you gonna do with all that vinegar? I'm gonna clean oh some. Did you just clean with straight up vinegar? Yeah. Holy mackerel, there's eight gallons of vinegar. No, I only bought six. Good job. Look, every year we get a dividend from REI. Maybe one of our favorite stores. <laughs> Not really, but it's pretty I mean, good. I need a new watch. Since the time change, my watch won't change over, <laughs> so I have to subtract in my head or add an hour. Which one is it? I have to subtract an hour. So I'm gonna see if I can't get the same watch. Not seeing my watch anywhere in there. Whoa, we're high up here, guys. Everybody's been getting a little excited, so we're gonna have what we call a little adult swim. Picked that up at a swimming pool when they had the kids sit out every 15 minutes for five minutes, just to calm down. So we're gonna have a calm down session. They can look out the window, nice view. Everybody's already starting to calm down. Okay, it seems like you guys are calmed down now. Are you? Yeah. All right, everybody's in a better mood, ready to walk around. Hey, are y'all ready to walk around and be calm? He's on the bike. You're supposed to be riding that in the store. Can you say Papa? Can you say Papa? Can you say Papa? Look at there, guys. They ended up finding one watch left it's the exact same one i mean it held out so what good we're talking about years this old watch held out and really the only problem was that i couldn't adjust the times for the new time change okay guys it's been a few days since i planted these seeds and these soil blocks came in here turned the light on because guess what they are sprouting got this cool little spray bottle at uh, target today and just gonna spray this down keep it coming here every day and, and keep it moist 
So I've lowered the light on these guys, otherwise they'll stretch for that light and they'll get leggy. Hey Gideon, do you want to say Papa? Uh. Can you say Papa?